back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Jasmine and welcome to my channel. In today's video, as you guys can tell, I'm going to be doing a Q&A. Well, I'm going to be answering questions that I've already gotten for you guys. And today's video is going to be pretty long because I posted on my community tab, I posted a story on my Instagram, and I also posted, like you guys sent comments on my last YouTube video that I made, and I got a lot of responses for you guys, so thank you guys so much for that, and I'm going to try my best to answer every single question that I got, so without further ado, let's get started. Before I get started with the q and I just wanted to update you guys really quickly on my ankle. And a lot of you guys are wishing me to feel better soon, so thank you guys so much for that. And my ankle is definitely feeling a lot better now. The swelling has gone down a lot, and it's not, like, it doesn't hurt that bad anymore. So we're still just starting to get better, but that's going to be in, like, a different video where I'll update you guys a little bit more on it a little bit later, because right now we are going to get into the Q&A. Alright, so I'm going to be starting off with all the questions that I got on my Instagram story, and I got a lot of them, but the very first question is, have you ever tried graph ice skates, and if so, what is your opinion? No, I've never tried graph ice skates, I looked them up, they sell hockey and figure skates, but I've only ever tried Jackson and Adidas skates. The next question is, how old are you? And I turned 16 in November. Next we have, what is your favorite music piece? And I'm guessing that this is like referring to skating music, but if you're talking about skating music, then my favorite skating song that I've ever seen like someone skate to is any Inawi song. I love all of his songs and they're like so pretty. What is your favorite jump? And I think my favorite jump has to be double axel because that's definitely the one I do the most. <laughs> What blades do you have? I have John Wilson Gold Seal Revolutions. What level are you competing at? And I am competing at junior. What year do you anticipate competing at senior? And I'm going to be competing senior next year, which is honestly really crazy and I can't wait. Favorite man and woman figure skater? So my favorite men are Jason Brown and Ilya. These are like my recent like ones that are still competing. So Jason Brown and Ilya. And then for women's, it's Amber Glenn and Isabel Levito. How does it feel having the coolest friends ever? So this is one of my friends who wrote it. So I'm just going to say good. <laughs> That's all I'm going to say. Are you going to come and train with us in Park City? And I really, really want to come so bad. I've literally been waiting to go there for so long, but I've never had the chance to actually go. But hopefully soon. <laughs> How many hours do you skate a week? Also, are you homeschooled? I usually skate around 12 to 15 hours a week, and that doesn't include off-ice, so I usually do off-ice outside of that too. And yes, I'm homeschooled. I do Florida virtual school full-time. What is your favorite clothes brand you wear to training? So basically, all the clothes that I wear are from Fabletics, and if you guys saw, like, if I ever done, like, a haul for you guys, it's always, like, Fabletics clothing because I just love them so much. And then for basically my sneakers and stuff like that, I always wear Nike because those are definitely my favorite. Do you have any sort of ritual or something you always have to do before competing? So not really. I don't really have like any specific thing that I always have to do, but I feel like this might be pretty common, but for whenever I'm tying my skates, if it's just like practice or even competition or whatever, I always have to tie my skates left and then right, because if I do like right and then left, then it just doesn't feel right. <laughs> What's your favorite skating snack? So I definitely say grapes, pineapples, and also apples with peanut butter. A jump you hope to land. So I really want to land triple axel, and I also really want to land like a quad at least. I don't know which one yet, but whichever one, if I can even do one, I'd be happy. <laughs> How do you overcome mental blocks? So honestly, I can't really give you guys any tips on that because I still struggle with that, and it's something that I'm trying to like get better at. But if I do figure something out, then I'll definitely let you guys know. Do you have a coach? We never see one. Yes, I do have a coach. I have two, like, basically main coaches that I work on my jumps and my spin with. And then I also have two choreographers. And one of them did my short program and the other one did my long program. And the same two of them are going to be doing my programs for this season because we're redoing them. And I'm really excited about those. But if you guys were watching the vlog that I did at sectionals, then you guys saw one of my coaches with me there. Favorite spin and spiral so my favorite spin is an eye spin and then my favorite spiral is basically just like the plain one because I love all different spirals but I feel like just like the nice normal plain one is the best <laughs> what is your favorite least favorite easiest and hardest move you like and do so my favorite one is probably my Russian split ever since I learned how to do that that's been like one of my favorite like tricks my least favorite is layback I'll always hate layback I don't know why I just don't like it and then easiest would probably be like butterfly, just like easiest to like do because I feel like I can throw that out of like anywhere. And then hardest might be like one of my triples, but I'm aiming more towards triple loop. <laughs> 
How do you just let go during practice? I wear protection, but I can't seem to let go and just do it. I feel like this is something that a lot of people struggle with in skating, and that's why skating is like mainly like a really mental sport. But for me, it's like some days are really good, and then some days are like off, and I can't do anything at all. So I feel like it really just depends on the day, and it also just feels like how I'm just doing and like how I feel on the ice. But I mean, at this point, like. I just tell myself, I just tell myself to just do it basically and then I just try my best to go for everything. What's your goal in skating? What are the things you want to achieve in the future? So basically more like short term goals, I'm thinking probably like landing more of my triples and getting them more consistent and landing them in competition. But more like a long term one is to compete at nationals. I've always wanted to compete at nationals because I feel like it's such a great experience and I want to at least compete at nationals like either junior or senior at least once. <laughs> What is your dream university or do you plan to go to university? So if you guys saw the vlog where I was up in sectionals, you guys might have seen that I toured BU and I, that's definitely one of my favorite like universities so far. It's the only one I've ever toured, but it's Boston University and they have a skating team and everything. And if you guys know my friend Emma, she actually goes there and she was the one that convinced me I should go there. And ever since she told me about it, I loved it. They have such great like academic programs and they have a really great skating team. Favorite thing to do in your free time other than skating? So honestly, I don't really have that much time, especially with like my skating and my school schedule to do a lot of other things. But some things that I do really like doing is I really like drawing and I've been like trying to do like digital drawing and stuff like that. So I really like doing that. And then I also like watching movies with my mom. <laughs> Also, how did you convince your parents to do competitive skating? Because it's expensive. And yes, skating is probably one of the most expensive sports in the entire world. But I didn't really have to like convince my parents before like competitive skating. I really wanted to do skating when I was like three and that's when I started skating. And I got my parents to take me to an ice rink and basically that's just how I got started. And we just like kept going with it and we just started doing competitions and stuff like that and now here I am. And skating is just basically one of the only things I've ever like stuck with or something that I've like really enjoyed doing for a long time. Because I did like dance, I did ballet and jazz and then I did gymnastics and I even tried cheer for a little bit. But skating's like the only thing that I actually like really really like so I think that's also why my parents let me keep doing it. <laughs> Will you attend international competitions in the future? So as of right now, no, because I have to be on Team USA and I have to get into the ISP first. But if I do have an opportunity to like compete internationally in the future, then I'll definitely take it because it seems so cool to like travel outside of the country for competitions and it just seems like it would be so much fun. How long have you been skating? For 13 years and I started when I was three years old. <laughs> How often should you sharpen blades? So it really does depend on like your level and like your skating skills, your weight even, and your height. And it also depends on how much you skate. But the like recommended is 20 to 30, 20 to 30 hours. I usually get my skates sharpened every two to three weeks depending on how they feel. And basically whenever I feel that they're starting to get like more slippery on the ice, that's when I get them sharpened. Which do you prefer, spin or jumps? Definitely jumps. I'm not a spin person, but I love jumping. Do you ever want to go to junior or senior nationals? I already answered this question, but yes, I would love to. <laughs> Too late to compete recreationally if you start skating at 15. Recreationally basically means that you're skating out of like a hobby or you just do it for fun. So basically if you want to skate recreationally, then you can basically do that whenever you want. <laughs> Which element took you the longest to learn? I think that would definitely be my double axle, but it all paid off because now my axle is my favorite jump. <laughs> what is your favorite spin combo? So I think my favorite spin combo is the combo that I have in my short and my long and I basically do this for everything but it's a camel to an outside edge and then I go into cannonball and then I switch to my back foot and it's my non-basic and then I go up into my upright. <laughs> have you started quads? No, I wish. That would be so much fun but I have tried triple axle a couple of times. So the next one is my favorite music artist and I have way too many but a couple of them are Taylor Swift, The Weeknd, Pitbull, Conan Gray, and Bruno Mars. <laughs> so that was all the questions that I got on my Instagram stories, so now I'm going to move into my community tab. So the first question on my community tab is my favorite show, and I have a lot of different favorite shows because me and my mom watch like a bunch of different things because all the ones that we watch never come out with new episodes, so we have to like keep switching, but I think that my recent favorites are Willow, and these two are on Disney+, Plus, but my recent favorites are the Willow series, and then um... National Treasure, Edge of Africa or whatever, but it's like a new series that National Treasure made and it's really, really good. 
what is your favorite skating move? And I think I definitely have to go with either Russian split or regular split jump and my butterfly. Have you ever been to Stars on Ice? Yes, I have been. I've been around like three times and it's so much fun every single time seeing all of like the different skaters. Alright, so next is what is my favorite singer and like song? So I already answered like my favorite singers, but I think that for songs, I definitely say Out of the Woods by Taylor Swift, Satellite by Harry Styles, and also Nonsense by Sabrina Carpenter. When did you start skating and why? I started skating when I was three years old because I watched the movie Ice Princess on Disney and it's still one of my favorite movies to this day. And I told my parents that I wanted to be an ice princess and then they found a rink and then I got started with skating and I've loved it ever since. What is your favorite figure skating jump? So I definitely say double axle and probably triple style because that's one of my better triples right now. <laughs> Who is your all time favorite skater? And I have way too many, but I think for females or like ladies, it would be Ashley Wagner and Sasha Cohen. I love their skating so much. They were so, so good and I miss like them competing. And then for male, definitely Jason Brown. He is always going to be one of my favorites. I just love his skating so much. And then for ice dance, like Paris Ice Dance, Merle Davis, and Charlie White. And I don't really watch a lot of ice dance, but I just love their skating so much, and they were so good. Have you ever thought of doing ice dance? So as of right now, no, because I really want to focus on my freestyle skating. But I do have my senior solo free dance like test passed. And I'm, that made me a double gold medalist, basically. But in the future, I am looking into passing, like, my pattern dances. But I don't really think I'm ever, like, going to compete it. But we'll see what ever happens. Thoughts on the U.S. Championships and opinion on the location they announced for next year. So I really don't really, like, can't say much about, like, the location. But I do know it's going to be in Ohio, which is pretty cool. And then my thoughts on the competition was it was actually, like, a pretty good competition, like, watching-wise. Um, I was really sad when Ilya didn't do his quad axle because I was really hoping he would and that would have been literally awesome But I'm so proud of Jason. He literally put out two amazing programs And it was literally like so nice to finally watch him compete again And I'm so proud of him for getting that second place like that was awesome And then in the women's section I loved Amber and Star Short like they were so good Like I love the music choices for them and everything about it And I'm also really happy for Isabeau because she won and that's just an amazing accomplishment of her and she also skated beautifully. Hi, I've been skating for a couple months and I was wondering how do you recognize the amount of rotations that you do in the air and how do you center your spins? So basically I can't really give you any information on how to center your spins because I'm not that good at centering my spins either and I still travel a lot but for the rotations, I basically just learned that from like just skating and also I watched a lot of skating like different competitions and stuff like that and just seeing like the people around me doing like different jumps but I feel like once I started doing like higher level jumps it's just a lot easier to recognize but I feel like once you start watching more skating or watching like other skaters do like higher level jumps you'll just automatically recognize it. So the next question are actually like three and one. So what are your goals in figure skating? Do you have other goals for the future on YouTube besides skating, like travel vlogs and stuff like that? And are you studying a career? So my goals in figure skating are to make it to nationals one day, hopefully, and compete at nationals. And then if do I have other goals in the future on YouTube besides skating? So if I do any like thing in my life, then I'll definitely keep you guys posted. Like if I ever travel or whenever I go off to college, I'll definitely keep posting like vlogs for you guys and making videos for you guys because I love like just making videos and editing them for you guys because it's just so much fun to me. And are you studying a career? So I'm guessing that this is talking about like maybe when I go off to college. Um, so as of right now, I want to do computer engineering because I love like anything that's technical or like computer wise. And I just feel like it's such a cool field and there's so many different things that you can do with it, especially now that like electronics and like computers are becoming more popular. So that's definitely something that I'm looking forward to right now. And that's a thing that I've been looking forward to the longest so far. And it's probably the career that has stuck the most with me. But it might still change because I still have two more years when I go off to college because I'm a sophomore right now and I've also wanted to do psychology and film in the past and those definitely changed so we'll see what happens. <laughs> Tips for taking everything one at a time and not trying to accomplish everything at once. So I can't give you a tip on this because this is literally the exact same thing that my coaches are telling me every single day because they keep telling me that I'm always trying to like do everything at once and I get like frustrated whenever it doesn't work at once. So I feel like I just have to like calm down 
and whenever I take things like slowly and I'm just like doing things like how they're supposed to be done everything works out but I feel like it happens whenever I get like mad or like frustrated that's when I try and like rush everything so basically I try not to do it but it still does happen while I'm on the ice so I just whenever I'm like nice and calm and I'm just focused on what I'm doing at once then that's when everything works out how long did it take you to get your first double jump? So I started skating when I was three and I got my axle when I was six and I got my double sow when I was seven. Where do you get your dresses? Are they custom made? Love your videos, you're such an inspiration. So this question is kind of a trick question because they are kind of custom, but I basically get all of my dresses from China and all I basically do is I'll see a dress that like I really like the design of or I like the style of the dress or something like that. And especially like my gray one, if you guys saw that one, I love that dress and I love the style of it. But so my mom gets like the dresses unstoned from like China and then she's the one that does all of the stoning and like the designs that I really like on them and she basically makes them custom because she does all of the stones so yeah she makes them super sparkly. <laughs> How do you deal with an injury mentally and how do you stay motivated and not get discouraged? So this question has like basically two parts. So mentally I feel like I just like try and look forward to like when I can finally be back on the ice or when I can be doing like what I want to be doing again because I feel like if you have something that you're going to look forward to you won't just be like thinking about like oh I can't do it right now you'll be thinking about like oh I'll be able to do it again soon so basically you just have to like look at it like oh the glass is half full not half empty um but yeah and then also like not get discouraged I feel like this is something that I've always told like everyone. I've heard many people say that like they get discouraged or something by others or even just like an injury or just like others around them. And like honestly my mentality is like if you really love doing something and you really enjoy it, then there's like no reason for you to be like discouraged or something or you to like lose interest if you really enjoy it and if it's something that you really like doing. So it's just basically like determining how much you enjoy doing like the activity and like I love skating so when I was injured I was just always thinking about like when I can finally be back on the ice and I was just looking forward to that day and I was just super excited and sometimes even just taking a little bit of time off can help you a lot when you get back and you'll come back even stronger. I started figure skating almost a year ago and recently broke my ankle doing a spin. That is so like bad and I'm really sorry. I hope that you feel better soon. But the question is, what would you say is the hardest part about figure skating? Any physical or mental obstacles? So I feel like mental is like the biggest aspect about figure skating and this is something that my coach is telling me basically every day because I struggle with it a lot too. I feel like figure skating is like one of like the most mentally draining sports there is and obviously it's like very physically like it asks for a lot physically and mentally but it's more mental because it's just like the part of convincing yourself to do all of these different things and keeping up with it like mentally preparing yourself for like a program or a competition and obviously this is in like other sports as well but I feel like it's like really dominant in skating especially since it's a solo sport and it's not like a team effort so it can be a lot at sometimes, especially since it's like all like the pressure is on you and you can't share it with other people. But it is something that you have to get used to and it's something that you have to learn to deal with. And that's why I feel like figure skating is like a great sport that builds character and it shows that like you are able to like overcome obstacles and like you're just able to get through all like these different things like mentally by yourself and stuff like that and also obviously with the help of your coaches and friends and family but it's just something that is really mentally like draining and it asks for a lot but obviously it's a good balance between both and I just feel like you have to like learn like the difference between the two and how to be able to like notice and work with both of them. How do you motivate to go skating often and not get lazy or discouraged? Also, I think your jumps are amazing. Thank you so much. And I feel like I already went over this, but I feel like I love skating so much and I've been doing it for so long. So it's just basically become a part of my routine and it's something that I don't really get tired of. And it's like something that I already mentioned this, but if you love doing something, then you'll never really get discouraged or you'll always want to be doing it and it's like if you have like a painter they love to paint or they love drawing or something then they'll find a way for them to like draw even if they're having like a better like a worse day or something and I feel like if you love doing something then even if it's not one of your best days then you'll still find a way to do it
Hi, I'm a kind of beginner skater and you've helped me so much. I'm doing your workouts, watching your vlogs and tutorials. Thank you so much. I'm glad that it's helping you. My work, my question is, are you going to the World Championship or next Olympics or something? Love your videos. So the Olympics is everyone's dream and obviously if I ever have the opportunity to go then I'd definitely take it and I'd be so excited because obviously it's the Olympics and that's what every athlete is ever looking forward to no matter what sport you're doing. Like every athlete's goal is obviously to make it to the Olympics someday and it's such like a like it's such a big competition but it's also so small compared to how many people are in each sport. So I feel like it's really limited and if I ever have the opportunity then that would be amazing. But as of right now, my goal is to make it to nationals and we'll see what happens from there. Alright, so now I'm going to be moving into the comments that were on the, my latest video. So the first one is, oh no, could it be related to the new skates, need broken and more or adjusted? I don't think that it's related to my skates because I didn't have any problems with them when I first got them. And even though I did just get them, I don't think that this was related to them. Um... I don't exactly know what caused my foot to start hurting. I do have a couple of ideas, but I don't want to be sharing them until like I'm 100% sure. But I will definitely be letting you guys know if I find anything out and I'll like get more information and you guys will be the first to know. What do you think the odds are that someone could make it to the Olympics if they started at 13, but like in the first year and a half landed everything up to double toe? Do you think it is a possibility and that they could eventually get there? So this is like a really vague question and nothing is impossible. Hard work definitely does pay off. And I also don't want to say yes or no because obviously there are a lot of different peoples, but hard work and like just having like the right mentality. If you have your goal in front of you, then every single day if you keep working towards that goal, you'll like eventually get closer to it. And I feel like you just have to like be able to know like what you want in a sport, especially like this one. If you're able to set your goals in front of you, then it'll be a lot easier to achieve them. So sorry about your ankle. Hope you feel better. Thank you so much. It definitely does feel better, and I'm just so grateful that it doesn't hurt as bad anymore. But these are for the Q&A. So one, what are your long-term all-time figure skating goals? So as of right now, my long-term goals are to eventually make it to nationals one day. That's basically my biggest goal, and I really hope to make it one day. And then I also really want to coach in the future. Like I want to teach private lessons, and I want to help the like younger kids be able to move through the sport and just be able to share my passion and my love for the sport with other people. And that's why I love teaching Learn to Skate so much because I can help all of these kids. Who are your favorite YouTubers? So as of right now, I don't really have like a favorite because I don't really like watch YouTube as much. But yeah, I don't really have a favorite. Probably me. I'm my favorite YouTuber. No, I'm just kidding. Um, do you have any big or small hobbies outside of skating? So basically my hobbies, I don't really do many things outside of skating. But as I mentioned earlier, I do love drawing. And I also really like like filming. Like basically any like computer wise. I love programming. And basically like cameras, computers anything like electronic based and then do you plan to go to college and yes I do I really want to go to college and right now I really want to go to like an out-of-state college because I feel like it's so much fun and I'm kind of like bored of Florida so I really want to go to like one that's out of state but right now my top choice is BU and I really hope that that one works out and I really hope I can make it there because they have like a really awesome computer program and they also have an amazing skating team they won nationals which is awesome and my second choice is probably UCLA, which is pretty cool, and I've always dreamed of going to UCLA, but that one's a lot farther than BU, and BU, I feel like, has taken number one in my heart and also in my mind, because that's also where Emma goes, and she convinced me. <laughs> Alright, so the next person has a lot of questions in this one comment, so I'm going to try my best to answer every single one of them. So the first one is, when was it that you decided to take skating seriously and dedicate each day to it? So ever since I was young, when I first stepped on the ice when I was three years old, I loved skating, and that's when I knew that I wanted to do this like competitively, or just like I wanted this to be like what I wanted to do. And like when I first started learning to skate, I would cry so hard whenever it ended because I wanted to keep skating. And like even though my parents were like, Jasmine, the rink is closing, I would keep crying because I wanted to skate. And even after I started like private lessons, I would cry whenever my lesson was over because I just love skating so much. And that's basically, I feel like ever since I stepped on the ice or ever since I discovered skating, I knew that that's what I wanted to do. And the next one is... Do you want to skate competitively at the highest level? And yes, I'm going to be competing senior next year, and I'm so excited. 
Do you one day want to skate for shows such as Disney on Ice? So as of right now, not really. I'm not really like big on like shows as like a career. I mean, I love people and like, don't get me wrong, I love doing shows because it's so much fun to have like a different personality and stuff like that. But I feel like it's not something I can see myself doing like as a career, but it does depend on what the future holds. Will your parents ever want to be on camera one day and say hi? So I don't think so. My parents are pretty camera shy. And they're always the people that are holding my camera in the background. My mom's laughing at me right now. <laughs> um, and they're basically, they are basically can be saying hi right now, but you guys just don't see them. So the next question is, have you always been homeschooled? Yes, I have. I've been doing, well not, yes I have, but I've been doing at Florida Virtual School full time since I was in third grade and I've loved it ever since. My parents ask me basically every single year if I want to go back to real school, but I always say no because I love doing virtual school and it just works out with my schedule a lot better. Is there a lot of opportunity to make friends at the rink when you're busy training your individual skate skills every day? Yes, there is. There's so many different people that you're on the ice with, and I feel like it's good to have like good connections with other people, even though if you don't like talk to every single one of them like a lot. I just feel like it's nice to have a lot of different people that you're like that you're on good terms with because I feel like it's better to have like more like better terms than like people that you don't really like and stuff like that. But I do have a lot of friends. I mean, like we have Sabrina, we have Emma, we have Maggie we have Ryan, we have Mariella, and you guys see them all in my videos, and we always have so much fun at the rink, and there's always so many different people that you can meet. If you go to a new rink, there's always people that will be willing to talk to you, and I also, I feel like the workers at rinks are really nice. I've made some, like, pretty good friends at the rinks and stuff like that, and it's just a good, like, experience, because for me, ever since I've been, like, doing virtual school, that's basically my only type of, like, social interaction, so it's good that there's, like, a lot of different people that I can interact with. How many days a week how many days each week are you getting coached? How many days each week are you trained by yourself? How do you keep yourself motivated when training by yourself? So I basically have a lesson with either one of my coaches every single day, and then I also train by myself every single day for like around like an hour or two hours and stuff like that. And it's like basically whenever I'm working by myself, I always have stuff to work on. I'm either working on like new jumps that are in my programs, or I'm working on choreography, I'm working on spins. But I feel like whenever I'm like don't really have anything to do, I like to work on just like different like challenges. One of my coaches is always giving us different challenges to try out, and it's like so fun like how many jumps can you do in a row or like just like super long like random jump combinations or like spin combos seeing who can hold the long spin the longest and it's just a lot of fun I just love doing like different challenges I feel like it challenges me and pushes me to like try different things and try harder things and it's a lot more fun when I have friends at the ring to do it with <laughs> Who are your coaches? So if you guys have watched my sectionals vlog, then you guys saw one of my coaches, he was with me when we were up in Boston. And that was a lot of fun because that was actually his first time being like at one of my competitions in person because I take from him virtually. So that was a lot of fun. And then also one of my coaches was also in, um, she traveled down to Florida and I did a video with her too. And then also one of my choreographers, you guys saw, see her in some of my videos whenever I go down to Palm Beach because she does my programs and you guys definitely see, their, like, see her in those vlogs. Did you ever just get scared while skating when doing jumps or just anything scary? So honestly, not really. I feel like I do get mental blocks sometimes and I feel like it's just like whenever I'm trying something new, but most of the time whenever that happens, my coaches just tell me it's like basically my body rejecting like the new things and that eventually if I work through it, then it'll work. All right guys, sorry about that. My camera ended up dying, but now let's continue with the questions. There's two more. So do you feel skating comes naturally to you or do you feel like you have to train longer to catch up with your peers? So I feel like people definitely have like different advantages and disadvantages. Some people are more talented and everyone, like some people have things that come way more easier to them. But I feel like personally, it's just like how hard like you want something, but it's also like basically you have to have like a goal set in front of you and you have to keep working to that until you get it because obviously there's like an end goal say it's like a double axle but for every single person it's a different path to that because everybody has like a different backstory it has like a different like life or like how much they are able to train and stuff like that and even like for me personally I'm really tall so that's like a disadvantage for me because a lot of skaters are pretty short they're around like five four, five, five, max like five, six. When I was at sectionals, everyone was so much shorter than me because I'm five, nine. So I feel like being like a taller skater is like definitely a disadvantage, but there's also some advantages because 
almost basically every single coach I've ever trained with have told me that I jump really, really high for, like, a skater. So I feel like everyone has, like, different, like, ups and downs for, like, things that they're good at, things that they're bad at. And it's just basically everyone has their own path to what they want to make it to. So what are your usually daily schedule like at the rink? How many hours are you at the rink and how many of those hours are you actually skating? I'm so curious to know so that one day I can dedicate myself to the sport more like you one day. So basically my rink doesn't have very many freestyle. Like it doesn't have a lot of hours for freestyle. We only have freestyle in the afternoon, which is kind of sad. I prefer morning freestyle, but we have like two or three hours in the afternoon. And most of the time I stay for those hours. And I'm always at the rink like one and a half hour before so that I have enough time to warm up and get my skates on and stuff like that. Alright, so the next question is, where do you plan to get in your skating career? Do you want to become a skating coach after you retire from the competitive aspect of the sport, or do you have any other paths you'd like to follow? So basically, as of right now, I want to make it all the way through senior. I want to compete senior next year, and I just want to have like a good senior season and just like end it off really nice. And I want to compete collegiate skating while I'm in college because... Of course, I've said this like 50 times, but BU has an amazing skating team and I want to be a part of it, which would be so much fun, especially to keep up with my skating and they compete like at different collegiate competitions with other colleges and that's like pretty cool and it seems like really interesting and um, I definitely do want to coach. I don't know what's going to happen like in the future, but we will see what happens. I love coaching. I love teaching like younger kids. And it's also why I like making a lot of tutorials on my channel because I feel like coaching is something and just like being able to share my knowledge and just like my love for the sport is so much fun to me and I just love that idea. So I can't wait to like one day be old enough to finally be able to like have private lessons and stuff like that with students and I just think that would be so much fun. And I also don't know what happens whenever I go off to college. I'm definitely going to be studying like a major in like computers or something like that how I mentioned earlier I want to get into computer engineering and I'm probably gonna get a job in that field and maybe I'll be able to do that with skating on the side and put those two together which would be a lot of fun and that would be like my dream future <laughs> alright so I basically think that this is like all of the Q&A there are so many questions and I feel like I haven't done this in a really long time and like a lot of my questions probably have changed from like when I've done this video like maybe like two years ago or something so it's pretty cool I'll have to look back and see how much I've like changed and stuff like that but I hope that I was able to respond to everybody and I hope that I gave you guys some good answers and I was able to let you guys know a little bit more about me and like what's just going on in my life and stuff like that Alright guys, I think that I'm going to end the video off here. Thank you guys so much for watching and also thank you guys so much for the questions because if you guys wouldn't have sent me questions, I wouldn't have been able to do this video. And I'm also really sorry for how long it was, but I hope that I was able to answer everybody's question. And I just hope that you guys enjoyed watching and I will see you guys in my next video. Love you guys. Bye!